So behind me is one of the most fuel efficient all wheel drive passenger vehicles in America with 50 miles per gallon combined. That is the 2019 Toyota Prius, which comes in four trim levels. There's the L Eco, LE, XLE, and Limited. We have the XLE this week, and Toyota has high hopes for this Prius. They are projecting that this all-wheel drive E version, which stands for electric, will account for 25% of the annual Prius sales. Time will tell. When it comes to the 2019 Prius, quote, let's go places can be expanded to, quote, let's go more places and more conditions thanks to the available new all-wheel drive E system. Designed to provide more confidence and control when weather and road conditions are less than ideal, the electric all-wheel drive system further expands where Prius can take its drivers. The all-wheel drive E system is ideal for Prius according to Toyota. The automatic on-demand system does not require a center differential or other torque apportioning device, nor does it need a front to rear drive shaft. Instead, the E in all-wheel drive E stands for electric. The Prius all-wheel drive E uses an independent electric magnetless rear motor, a Toyota first, to power the rear wheels from 0 to 6 miles per hour, then when needed up to 43 miles per hour. This system provides the power to the rear wheels to confidently pull away from a stop, yet the on-demand system recognizes when all-wheel drive performance is not needed to provide great fuel economy. So there are a few exterior changes they've made to the Prius this year. Otherwise, it's mostly the same vehicle. They've made some adjustments to the headlights as well as the taillights. Um, what I find interesting about it is how sleek it is. Checking out the profile there. It's actually uh, pretty big on the inside for me. I'll give you a demo in the back seat. Uh, a cargo room is pretty impressive as well. Looking at in the numbers of 65.5 cubic feet of cargo volume. Now with the all-wheel drive E model, it's 62.7. So I'm gonna open up the gate here and show you what that looks like. So really open, wide open space here. Of course, this folds down, it's a 60-40 split. Below here, they have a tire repair kit. No tire, but a tire repair kit. If they had a tire, it'd make the vehicle a little bit heavier and they wanna be as fuel efficient as possible. And that's the big selling point with this vehicle this year is, well, any year, I guess, with Toyota Prius is fuel economy. So style-wise, I mean, I don't know, kind of bland. It's not very sporty to drive, even though it has all-wheel drive. Front-wheel drive, obviously, is the majority of what you'll experience. Uh, but spaciousness and uh, fuel economy seem to stand out for me. So getting in here, as you all know by now, I've got a little mini me right here. So I've been using my car seat and I have to bring the seat up a little bit, of course, to make room for this rear facing car seat. Uh, but the big guy fits in there just fine. Pair of cup holders here, uh, really cool. Two USB ports back here, one up front. Here is my back seat leg room for a guy who's 5'11". That's my driving position up front. So very spacious and headroom, not bad, even with a sloping roof line. Uh, with that 60, was it 62.7 cubic feet of volume with the all-wheel drive E model, which we have, or up to 65.5, that's a lot of space for cargo. Some you know crossovers are hoping to achieve that for their stats, so pretty impressive. Uh, we've got a gas engine and two uh, electric motors. It's a 1.8 liter four cylinder made it to a CVT. And then you have the hybrid Synergy drive system, electric all wheel drive system as well. And we have 15 inch alloy wheels, which I guess is an extra on here for an extra 900 bucks. Interesting, huh? Let me go inside. This is, uh, even though I've had it for a full week and I'm not doing something on a tripod, uh, I am re recapping my full week with this ve vehicle, and this is real life. So I got the car seat in there. I've got some stuff which kind of, kind of looks messy in here. Uh, my bag, some other storage things that I'm moving around. There is the tripod that's not getting used today. Uh, water bottle, cup, my mouthpiece for Taekwondo of all things. I got this uh, wireless charging pad which I really like because uh, my phone is compatible for that. 
starting it up right now for you. This is the standard 6.1 inch touchscreen. Uh, no Apple CarPlay. What the heck? No Apple CarPlay, not yet for this one, maybe next year. Uh, but you can see here with their system, if I go with the I am Dave Erickson, which is my name, I've got, I can listen to my podcast, which of course hooked up to the phone there. Pause it because I don't want to miss the Dan Patrick show. Love it. Now, if you need to get the limited trim level, this goes up to a much bigger screen, 11.6. But for us, that'll work just fine. Uh, this is this is funky. And if you remember this center stack area in the previous Prius, I think it was white. So they've darkened this one. And I don't know, it looks, it looks more up to date. It doesn't look so futuristic, even though this is, you know, we are in 2019. Um, this looks fine. So you have this interesting shift knob here. So if I want to go into reverse, I go up and there's my backup camera down. This went down. I'm in drive, but because the door is open, it says you can't go yet. And then neutral. Now, if I want to put it in park, which my wife was saying, it took me a while to figure out, well, not for a while, but it's like, how do I put this thing in the park? Just press the park button, and now you can take your foot off the brake. Drive modes, I was playing with this uh, recently, well, throughout the week. Eco mode, normal, and power, all up there in that uh, display. Eco, normal, and power. And I was trying to get the experience of the power mode, and it just it's a loud car, actually. I'm surprised how loud it was for, you know, electric hybrid. But there you go. That's what it is. And it's got a really nice readout here for fuel economy, so I can zoom in for you. Showing my trip, so I've got 121 miles. Heated seat options are right here. That's where the other USB port is. I wish they had better management with uh, cables, but that's what you're dealing with. So funky to look out over a steering wheel and see, you know, dash versus an instrument cluster. Obviously, they put it all in the center. You got your Bluetooth options, obviously, heated steering wheel, lane departure, radar cruise control for the car in front of you. This does have a, a heads-up display. Let's see if I can zoom in. Maybe you can see that. They've got a couple of things that are visible in your heads-up display. There is speed. There's also a hybrid indicator. And what's cool about this was I was recognizing yesterday, they've got auto leveling headlights. So when you're, let's say you're about to go left, the headlights start to jump ahead so you can see safely around a bend or corner. I like that. Here's a question for you about feedback. What do you prefer when it comes to these armrests? This one opens off to the side versus lifting up. I don't know, if you do it like this, it's really catered to the driver as opposed to having one that's go straight up, then both, every, both people, driver and passenger, can utilize it. I kind of prefer the one goes straight up, not the one that goes off to one side. I don't know. I'm not sure if I like that. What are your thoughts? Comment below. I want to take you back under the hood here of this uh, gas and two motor hybrid system. It's very quiet. It's actually on right now. And you can kind of hear some electricity if I'm be quiet. Yeah. It's always interesting too when you pop open the hood of a vehicle on where the bar goes. Kind of have to look for it, but there's my arrow and it's tucked in here. So that's how I can prop open the hood. Anyways, a very clean looking engine bay. Maybe a little hard to see, but this is the heads up display hidden compartment where they do the reflection off the glass onto the windshield. A little walk around the vehicle for you. Check out the, the real plain character lines that go across. I mean, it's Boy, Prius has a familiar look to it, doesn't it? All the little sensors around the bumpers. This is a split level window. So you can actually see out of this when you're driving, but this is kind of a little bit distracting. You've got to position the rear view mirror just right to be able to see out there clearly. I think these are a little more upright this year versus last year. It's funny they have, this is an all-wheel drive vehicle. Not funny that it's all-wheel drive, but you know, you have that impression, at least I do, that all-wheel drive means you can go off-road, which is not necessarily the case, as I've experienced many times in the past. Also, don't take a front-wheel drive vehicle off-road in the snow. Note to self. 
So I'm not out here in the grass because I'm going off road. I just happened to find a good spot here to do the video for you. So here are some of the safety and convenience features on it. They've got the star system, safety system. So electric brake force distribution, brake assist, smart stop technology, driver and front passenger advanced airbag system, plenty of airbags, a lane departure alert with steering assist, automatic high beams, blind spot monitor with rear cross traffic alert. These are all standard features and equipment on the vehicle. Latch system back there for tethers and anchors for child car seats on the outside auto on and off by LED headlights, LED DRLs, so daytime running lights, heated powered outside mirrors, rain sensing wipers, and a rear wiper. This vehicle also has the advanced technology package for an extra 800 bucks. That's the color heads up display with the speedometer and hybrid system indicator, adaptive front lighting system, auto leveling headlights. So the base MSRP is $28,820 plus the extras on ours and then you throw in delivery processing and handling fee. This vehicle is just over 32 grand. When it comes to fuel economy, few are going to beat this. Obviously it's the most fuel efficient all wheel drive passenger vehicle in America. So if you enjoy saving money, definitely worth a look and a test drive. Until next time, I'm Dave Erickson with Everyman Driver. Thanks for watching this unconventional uh, recap and review of the 2019 Toyota Prius. This is the XLE all-wheel drive E. All right, adios. One more thing before you go, I've added links to some of the best-selling automotive accessories on Amazon right now, along with links to some of my product reviews. You'll find it in the description below this video. Hey Everyman Driver Nation, what's going on? Welcome back for another car review. I'm Dave Erickson alongside this guy, my better half, Dave Erickson. Today we're going to give you a quick overview, demonstrations and impressions of this 2018 Toyota Prius 2 Eco. This comes in seven trim levels. You got the Prius 1, 2, 2 Eco, 3, 3 Touring, 4 and 4 Touring. It's a lot of trim levels. You want me to start or you want to start? You can start. Okay then, let's get started. 